I don't know that a lot of people really get Danny Ray. He's done it all. He's done it all so much to where he had to create something completely new to skate. There's a lot of guys that'll do whatever it takes to win. Then there's guys that do whatever it takes to push themselves. Guys that do whatever it takes to progress their sport. When I think of a trick, when I'm, I don't know, when I'm sitting in my house or something, I come down here to learn it. Where we came from had everything to do with kind of who we are. People didn't like people from this time. It felt like we had more to prove. It. Danny's proved it. <laughs> there is an addiction to progression. You get this incredible buzz when you land something the first time. Everyone says you gotta be fearless to do what we do, but I think anyone fearless gets hurt too quick to ever be great at anything. The police came to our house a lot. So my kids grew up never knowing what they were gonna come home to. Our mom was gone a lot. For Danny and I, skateboarding really became our family. Yeah, you have scars in your mind that you never can get rid of. So what do we do? We go out and find something that's fun, and sometimes it's dangerous, but oh well, it's worth it. Skateboarding is just such a notch up from a lot of sports as far as how tough you have to be to get that good. In a lot of ways, it, it gives you strength for the rest of your life. He has a determination to do what he wants to do, even through terrible injuries. It's unlike anyone I've ever, ever worked with or even seen. Jumping from there over here, it's the widest spot of the wall, which I feel does the most justice for skateboarding and uh, the possibility of breaking a world record. You get yourself all the way to the top of the mountain and what's left of lightning. And that to me just says, dang, what are you doing? But what else is left for you? 